very, very simple projects or uh, projects that are meant to be very easy to do in a short amount of time to teach you the fundamentals of Blender. And basically what we covered so far is how to move, rotate, scale things in object mode. And then we covered very briefly edit mode, which allows you to manipulate the polygonal regions of a mesh. And we covered beveling really, really quickly. So now basically we're going to go ahead and combine exercise one and two, where in exercise one we made a chair. And now we're going to combine that with actually using beveling when we create this chair. So in order to do this, the very, very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to scale this cube up. And I'm going to move it here just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and bevel this just like I did last time. Remember to bevel, I need to go into edit mode by either clicking tab on my keyboard or by changing the modes by clicking the modes options bar here. And then I can click the bevel button, which is right there. And then I can bevel by holding control and clicking B or by clicking the bevel icon. So I go ahead and bevel just like so. And then I can start to adjust the amount of segments I want. Uh, in this case, for what I'm trying to make here, which is a chair leg, I'm probably going to have a couple more segments like this. And I'm just going to automate the, the length of the chair just like that. And that looks pretty good. Cool. All right. So there's chair leg number one. I'm going to go ahead and say smooth this, which just makes it a little bit smoother here. So you really can't see the edges too much of the chair, which is pretty standard. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into top down view by clicking the Z axis like this. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and start to create where uh, the chair is. So basically I'm going to move this out two degrees. If I hold shift and click D, which is how you duplicate, I can now move this out to this part here. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this here and then move this here. And now I pretty much have my four chair legs just like this. Next, I need to go ahead and make where the person would sit. So I'm going to come here, create a cube, move it into the center here of the chairs here. It's about right there ish. And I'm going to go ahead and move this up just like that scale it. You can also scale by holding S and clicking X as well. If you want to scale on the X axis and then scale on Y is S Y. The scale on Z is S and then Z. Those are the keyboard shortcuts for scaling. And just in case you did not know them, now you do. So that looks like a nice size for the base of the chair. So now again, I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm just basically going to bevel this just like so. Boom. and I get a very, very nice looking base for my chair, just like that. Now, this is where we're going to go ahead and learn our new concept. So as you can see, this also could be a table if I wanted it to be as well. And that's one of the cool things about Blender is uh, you can kind of modify things like this. But now we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode and we're going to talk about what polygonal regions are. So basically what we have here are vertices, edges, and faces, right? So vertices are the mathematical corners here, or basically these little points that make up my 3D mesh. So it's all these, and in edit mode, I have the ability to change them and change their position. This is one of the very common things you'll be doing a lot in Blender if you decide to do this. Now, Along with vertices, we also have these line segments. These line segments are called edges. Basically, an edge is a line segment that connects two vertices. So here's a vertice, here's a vertice. This line is a line segment. And a face is a 2D shape that makes up a 3D object. So if you look here, basically, whenever the line segments come and create an entire closed polygon or shape, 2D shape, right, this shape is then known as a face in Blender. And then these are your three polygonal regions that generally are used to create any mesh. And one of the cool things about Blender is you can manipulate these polygonal regions as we've seen so far. So what we're now going to do is we are going to click on the face here and we are going to click the extrude right here. And this is going to allow me to create a new thing that essentially comes off of this old face. So to do that, I'm just simply going to drag just like so. And this is going to create the top of the chair. Uh, I am going to drag just a little bit more. And now I can come here, kind of realign this like that. And move it up some more. And then, of course, everybody's favorite, I am now going to go ahead and take the new uh, base of or the back of the chair here. And then I can bevel it, which is going to round out the corners to make it look more like a chair. 
and there you go. So again, kind of just extending what we've already touched on before. Now we've extended it to add um, a little bit more detail as it would be called to the chair. So it doesn't look um, like four cubes smashed together. I don't know if there's any other better way to say that. Uh, yeah, so last step here, and we've already kind of seen this before, is changing color. I'm gonna go ahead and join these all together. You don't need to do this to change the color, but I'm just gonna do it in this case. Cool, and to change the color, I need to make sure I'm in the viewport shading or the default lit mode. And I come here, click on material, new, and now I can change the color. And I'll make this a blue shiny chair, almost as if it was made of sapphire. And there you go. If you have any questions on how I created this uh, beveled chair, I guess is what we'll call this, then please leave it in the comments. But other than that, 